Uh, this afternoon we wanted to talk a little bit about the new uh, Clearcom HME DX210. Uh, this is the unit right here. It is a uh, next generation digital communication system operating on 2.4 gigahertz, frequency hopping spread spectrum, uh, and also spectrum friendly. Uh, spectrum friendly allows you to set the system to operate in either the lower half or the upper half of the Wi-Fi spectrum so that you don't if you should happen to have some interference with a, uh, a Wi-Fi system, you can eliminate it. You can go to the other, another half of it. Uh, or if you have an interference from a DX, uh, DMX lighting system, works very well like that. Um, system, obviously it turns on, uh, works on a, uh, either 12 volts or 110, 220. That's very standard in our industry today. Uh, just going through some of the controls that are up here. Uh, this is the position where you change and clear the band. Okay, if you want to go to the upper band, the lower band, or if you want to sync this unit with up to four, up to three other systems, so that they're all frequency hopping together, so they, the systems don't interfere with one another. Uh, one of my favorite features here is unlatch. If you've got a system where you may have 15 belt packs out there and people leave their, their buttons on and all time to talk at the same time, you can unlatch everybody. It's very, 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 very handy. Uh, there's some indicator lights here that tell you which channels are talking. Uh, right now we don't have any belt packs turned on, but it's channel one, channel two, or the ISO. Uh, this section here, these two sections are identical. The first one, of course, is for intercom one. The second one is for intercom two. Uh, we have an incredible auto null circuit that allows you to connect this through the hybrid to a two-wire circuit, whether it's ClearCom or RTS, it doesn't really make any difference, and auto null it down to minus 50, which eliminates 100% of the echo, uh, which has always been a complaint in, in the 2.4 systems. Uh, again, push the button, a few seconds later, clean. Uh, and you can select here whether you want it, the output of the system to be on a four wire or on a two wire. The um, output level is also adjusted. Mm. Controls are really small, but they're intended to be set once and, and be left on. Again, identical. We have another section here, that's called the auxiliary section, where we can have an auxiliary input. Could be uh, uh, cues from somebody outside, could, could be program material. You can assign it to channel one or to channel two, uh, and you can assign it to both channels. Uh, you have the input gain and the output gain, so you can trim it right there on the, on the front panel. On the uh, headset monitoring at the, at the belt pack station, it's sort of like a belt pack. Headset plugs in here, you've got a mic volume control there. You have a volume, con volume control for the headset, and you can push the button and select whether you want to listen to channel intercom one, intercom two, or ISO. And of course you push the talk. That's basically the, the system. There are two little antennas. Each antenna is full diversity. It's transmitting and receiving. You can remote the antennas 3,500, 200 feet without, without a serious problem to get more range. Uh, generally speaking, we, we have excellent coverage within a thousand feet. Uh, I've used systems like this over several thousand feet just by extending the antenna, placing it up high or that type of thing. This is, this is the belt pack that comes with the system. Uh, intercom channel one, intercom channel two, or the ISO that we were talking about up here. Uh, on the side of the panel, the belt pack, there's a up arrow and a down arrow and a power button. These are actually a combination of, of, of buttons, do different things. You can obviously increase the volume up and down for what you hear, but if you use another headset other than an HME headset or a ClearCom headset, you can adjust the gain of the mic on that headset because everybody is different. You can also turn on or off or adjust the side tone. If you get into an area like in a loud rock and roll show and you don't really want to hear all that noise that's around you coming right back into your ear, take the side tone all the way down. It's only affected in your belt pack. Uh, the belt packs themselves have some uh, neat little commands that, that tell you when you're out of range, they tell you 
uh, when you're low on battery. When you first turn the belt pack on, it identifies what it is, what, what revision it is, and it pretty much just talks to you, very nice. If you want, we could actually give it to you in Spanish and French. The, the headset that is generally used is an HS15. Uh, it comes in a single ear or in a double ear. Very, very handy. Uh, there is also another headset that I don't have right here that's sort of a very lightweight kind of a headset. Uh, the other thing, let me bring this down here so you can see this. This is an all-in-one headset. The belt pack and the headset all together. Again, channel one, channel two are ISO. The up and down buttons, the power button is hidden back here, but all those same functions that are in this belt pack are here, plus one additional one. Uh, there's a little light here that indicates when you're, when you're on, okay? If you're working on a stage and you're walking across the stage and you don't want to be seen, you can defeat the light so that it never comes on. The system continues to work. Very, very, very handy little feature. Uh, one of the things that I'm really pleased with, and I've had a lot of experience with these batteries, is they operate the belt pack for between 19 and 20 hours. That's 19 or 20 hours. Constantly working. Beautiful. Take the battery out, put it in a charger, two hours later it's up to full charge. I think in 15 minutes up to like 40% charge. Incredible. Uh, the other thing that, that Clearcom HME did is to make it backwards compatible with the previous DX200 system. Um, the DX200 was a single channel system. The belt pack for it, one of these belt packs, obviously was only one channel, but it will work with the DX210 two channel system on either one of the channels. It just depends on how you register it. Uh, battery fits in, pop, 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 right? And that whole system plugs together, snaps into this little pouch, uh, and it just, just works. I will tell you, you can drop them, throw them around, they do not break. Uh, I've been actually associated with this particular product for six years. Never, ever have I had to take a product back because it was broken. I have to say that this product is fully mature. It has been used pretty near everywhere in the world. The, there are, I don't have no, no idea what the number is, but it's thousands and thousands and thousands of base stations are out there. And they're working every day all around the world. They work very, very reliably. Uh, which is just, in, in this world, that's what we need to have. We need to have something that we can go back to. The, if you want more technical information, the best way to get it is to go onto the website, which is www.clearcom.com. Uh, there's also a bunch of names up there, the sales representatives and the, the support groups, and you can click on those and make direct contact with somebody in your region, worldwide.